What do you want your legacy to be? I think any kind of artist wants to to leave the world a better place, you know, bring some kind of a happiness to whoever's viewing their art. Is that success? I think I think probably, yeah. You know, being able to leave a legacy of, you know, making something beautiful. Uh, making another person happier for, for the for it. That's I think that's pretty much the legacy I'd like to leave. My father introduced me to photography probably when I was 10 or 11 years old. He bought me my first film camera. My dad was a, an avid photographer um, back when slides were big, Ektachrome and that kind of thing. And you know, then I got to the point where I had taken a couple classes on it in college and, and um, I really enjoyed the black and white and the, the developing aspect of it. When I got out of school, you, you do the, the usual, you know, waiting tables, that kind of thing to you get your, you know, your big break, your first job that's related to the major that you went to school for. And I, and I did that. Uh, eventually wound up in corporate collections. And then, of course, things, you know, life takes over and you need a job and you're buying houses and you're, you know, that kind of thing. And, and you know, so I, I kind of went by the wayside with it until, you know, 20 years later when I'm wondering what I do want to do with my life. And, you know, <laughs> when I grow up, as they said, <laughs> you're uh, hopeful that what, wherever you're going next is going to be better than where you were. Um, and I certainly felt liberated. <laughs> I actually travel a little bit. I went out west, did some photo shoots out in uh, the national parks out west, Arches, Bryce Canyon, and that, and that nick of the woods, and um, just kind of took it easy for a little bit. Didn't really know what I wanted to do exactly. I knew I wanted to do something with my photography and, and you know, the art world. Um, eventually, I wound up opening a gallery studio space that kind of morphed into something bigger than I had ever expected it to be. And I did that for about four years out in Altamont. Uh, and eventually, due to the economy and due to more location than anything else, I decided that it was time to close that space and move on to greener pastures. And that's sort of when the, the opportunity here at the barn kind of came forward at an opportune time. I started buying cameras and lenses and just really experimenting with things. Pretty much anything it was in front of my lens, you know. I was actually in front of the computer one day and I was looking to start a photography blog and I needed a URL for it. I was listening to a Bob Dylan song called Desolation Row. The name sort of kind of went with uh, what I was kind of experiencing at the time and I said, well, I can't really call it Desolation Row photography. That'd be plagiarism or, uh, you know, copyright infringement or something. So I just changed it to Road and it really kind of stuck. And, that was how the name came about. I bounced back and forth through a variety of different things, but uh, now I've started to do more um, fashion, uh, glamour shots, you know, makeovers, that kind of thing. Kind of goes along with the portraiture and things that I want to do going forward. Um, I call it thematic portraiture, which is kind of uh, you know something that takes a little bit about the model and, and uh, you know maybe some. You know, their past or their future or whatever interests them at the time and kind of incorporates it into a portrait. Taking somebody's portrait can either be an exercise in futility or it can be uh, an awesome experience for, for both people. A lot of people are not comfortable in front of the camera, so you kind of have to put them at ease and, and you know, give them a reason to kind of open up to you and, and uh, kind of show something that's like inside of them. Every artist goes through like a dead period where they, they're uninspired or they're, they're having problems, you know, either putting pen to paper or brush to paper or whatever their medium is. I think that's natural, you know, you, you, everybody has a creative funk, but don't get stuck in it. Forward motion is where it's at if you, if you start, you know, stalling and, and moving backwards and it becomes a problem. So try to keep the passion in what you're doing and, and keep perspective. <laughs>